The MP Concepts V-Style spoiler that we have here today is a slightly more affordable take on that legendary S550 option and will be perfect for the 2015 and newer fastback owners who are looking to make a statement with the rear of the car. Now the V-Style option will offer an aggressive rake along with a durable ABS plastic build and gloss black finish all for right around that high $100 price point. Install is gonna go down one of two ways here, guys. If you have a factory spoiler installed, then chances are you will not need to drill. On the other hand, if your car does not currently have a spoiler installed, well, you will need to break out that drill. So either way, site's gonna go all this middle of the road, two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter just to be on the safe side and maybe a couple of hours or so to knock out from start to finish. And as always guys, hang with me for a bit and we'll walk you through that job later in the video. So the OG MMD V-Series spoiler has easily become one of the most popular for the 2015 and newer cars ever since it debuted back on that 2015 MMD car at SEMA. Now both the unpainted and pre-painted options continue to be uh, best sellers here on the site. And because of that, it was a no brainer for our best of video for the spoiler category for all S550s. Now, the reality is that spoiler does come in at a slightly higher price point, especially if you opt for the color match version. So MP Concepts has come to the rescue here for us and offered a budget friendly version that's gonna give you the same great styling that will ultimately just be a little easier on your wallet. But price point aside, the original V-Series shape is still there, guys. You get a very aggressive rake or angle uh, for the spoiler itself, along with your cutout here in the middle, which I always thought vibed well with the design cues around the license plate area on the S550 cars. Now, looks aside, that notch or cutout here in the wing really does help with visibility out of the rear view mirror, and that is something that sometimes goes overlooked. Now the MP Concepts version is going to come together using what is called a blow molded ABS plastic construction, which as you guys can see is going to deliver that iconic shape. And that material is very lightweight. It's still very durable and you're not gonna have to worry about any cracking or spider webbing, if you will, like you would with a fiberglass option. Finally, as you can see here, gang, the spoiler is finished off in gloss black, which should offer a nice contrast with just about any color S550. But now comes the point in the video where we wanna segue into the install, show you what it takes to get this puppy installed on your S550 fast back at home. So without further ado, grab your toolbox and join us for a detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown now. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, a magnetic Phillips head screwdriver, a trim removal tool, and possibly some rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth or you can use the supplied alcohol pads in the kit. Hi everyone, today we're installing a spoiler on our Mustang, so let's get started with the uninstall first. For our uninstall, we're gonna need a trim removal tool to remove nine push pins in this cover here. We'll also need to remove these two rubber bumpers here, the trim piece over the hood, the latch there, and two rubber grommets on the outside of the deck lid. So we're gonna insert our trim tool underneath the bottom of the latch here and just pop it out. Then remove the two rubber bumpers just by screwing them out. Now we can remove our push pins simply by inserting our trim removal tool underneath the pin and pulling out. And just slip the handle through the slot. Now we can just pop the grommets out simply by pulling them in. Now we've got four nuts to remove, two here and one on each end where the grommets used to be. So we're gonna go ahead and use our 10 millimeter socket to remove those. And just one note of caution, when you start, get to the point where you're just about ready to remove the nut, it's a good idea to close the deck lid as much as you can to keep the nut from falling into the trunk lid.
Now with all of our nuts removed, we can go ahead and lift our rear spoiler off. Now you may need a trim removal tool to help pry it off, depending on what type of adhesive is on the bottom of the spoiler. Before we get to the actual install, <clears throat> if you have a convertible or your vehicle does not come with a factory spoiler, you will need to drill into the deck lid. In order to do that, they've provided some templates for you to be able to mount on the spoiler so you can line it up and know exactly where to drill the holes. To use these, you simply remove off the backing from the template and place the hole over the mounting hole on the spoiler. Now there are four mounting holes on here, so they provide you with four templates. Once you've got the templates installed on the spoiler, you can go ahead and test fit it, get it all lined up. And then once you get it lined up, we'll put some tape on the template itself to hold it onto the car, and then we will remove the spoiler, and then you'll have the spots exactly where you need to drill. Now we'll go ahead and place the spoiler on the vehicle. Get it set where we want it. Make sure that it's centered on the deck lid. And now we can use some painter's tape to hold down those templates to the deck lid. And we'll take both sides of the template down just to make sure that it stays straight. Now you can gently lift up on the spoiler making sure that the templates stay in place. And now you have the exact location of where these holes need to be drilled. Now that we have the exact locations marked on our deck lid of where we need to drill, you can use your 7.30 seconds drill bit and go ahead and drill those holes and proceed with the rest of the install. Now that our holes are drilled, we can go ahead and clean the bottom of the spoiler with some rubbing alcohol. Make sure that there's no residue on it and prepare it for the double-sided tape. Once you've got that clean, it's recommended that you use the supplied adhesion promoter and just go around the outside edge of the spoiler where the tape is going to be put using a small brush to spread it out. And then once it dries in about 10 minutes or so, then you can apply the double-sided tape to that. And one trick I like to use is when you lay down the tape, go ahead and peel back about an inch or so of the backing paper so that when you actually sit it on the vehicle, it's not sticking to it so that you can finish putting it in place properly, and then you can remove this afterwards. Now, since we're not doing a permanent modification to our vehicle, we're not actually going to apply the tape, but I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna apply the tape 
right along the edge, like so. And you're gonna go all the way around, and you can see where the line is at, where you need to put it. And then, like I said, once you get it installed, go ahead and peel back about an inch or so of the, line, of the paper backing and let it hang outside. That way, when you set it on the vehicle, all you have to do is just pull that runner and everything is good. And the last thing to do before you actually put it on the vehicle is apply these rubber pads to, over each of the mounting holes. And to do that, you simply remove the brown backing paper, place it over the hole, and then when you're ready to install it, you remove the red side. Now we can go ahead and place the spoiler on the deck lid and using the supplied hardware and a Phillips screwdriver, we can go ahead and get this secured. Now we go ahead and set our spoiler onto the deck lid. Now if you have it taped, you will need to be a little bit more careful about where you place this, making sure that your holes are lined up. And then like I said, using the, install, the supplied hardware and a screwdriver, I also recommend that you make sure that it is a magnetic screwdriver because if you drop it into the deck lid on the back side, it's pretty much lost forever. And once you've got all the hardware installed, you can go back through and make sure that you tighten everything down. Again, using your Phillips head screwdriver. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall our deck lid trim using the original hardware. Reinstall our two grommets. Reinstall our two rubber bumpers. And finally, our hood latch trim. And that wraps up our review and install of the MP Concepts V-Style Rear Spoiler in gloss black for your 15 to current Mustangs. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.